Amy Gardner, national political reporter for The Washington Post. I'm here in Charlotte at the Charlotte Convention Center, where the uh, Democratic National Convention is going to kick off this week, and where we're seeing signs of one of the big challenges that President Obama faces this year, and that is whether he can build the same grassroots army that he built in 2008. President Obama built his grassroots army four years ago, partly in Denver, where the Democratic National Convention was held that year, by uh, collecting the names, phone numbers, addresses of thousands of volunteers who then went on to work for the president's campaign and were credited with helping him win Colorado that year. There is great hope that, uh, among the Obama folks, that they can do the same thing this year in Charlotte. A great example of how they plan to use this convention as an organizing tool was actually right outside this building today. There is this event called the Carolina Fest, and uh, it, it's a big street party, a Labor Day block party for the Democratic Party. And uh, the Obama campaign had a, a tent where they were taking signatures, and one of the things that they were doing was actually passing out uh, bumper stickers in exchange for uh, text messages. So. They would shout out to the people passing by, would you like a bumper sticker? Okay, text us at 62262. Oh, you did it? Great. Here's your bumper sticker. And they were literally signing up hundreds of people with this technique. And they now have those people's names and cell phone numbers. And those people probably know this, but they're going to get a lot of text messages between now and November 6 to volunteer, give money, turn out to vote, and help in whatever way the Obama campaign hopes they will.